back to another lit video. It's your girl, Lerato, period. Oh, grr, grr. Make sure you guys have videos up. Comment in the comment section. Don't forget to turn your post notifications and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'm on the road to 400 subscribers. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And let's grow my channel. Let's monetize my channel. My goal is to be at 500 before June ends. At least. Right? But anyways, without further ado, for today's video, I'm reacting to Vian saying that Namsa died for her sins. <laughs> she was cheating with Major on both his wives. Wait, she was cheating with Major on both his wives. This title doesn't make sense. Was she in a polygamous relationship? Was she bisexual? I don't understand. Pay for her sins. Guys, this woman died such a sad, fatal death. Now she must she paid for her sins. Are you God? Are you Jehovah's Witness? Like, people are so weird. But anyways, guys, let's just get into the video. Let's get into the video. Oh, this intro is so loud. Oh. So Mzanzi was left outraged by the horrific so abuse beautiful. and passing of Singwa Namklamtwa, who was found lifeless in a car. Namkla was fired at nine times in a driveway after arriving home from work. After the incident, his sister shared a number of photos and videos of the badly beaten and bruised Namkla. According to the sister, Namkla allegedly suffered abuse at the hands of her boyfriend, a businessman named Mary Jampesane Bikizulu. As of recent, a voice note has been doing the rounds on social media. According to the VN, Namkla She's died so for a sense. The VN is in Isakosa, so if you understand the language, I'll link it in the description box. So, the woman in the VN, who is a friend of Major's first wife, Amanda, alleges that Namkla was having an affair with the accused. When Major was married to Amanda, Namkla tormented the first wife. She would come as she pleases at her home, which she shared with Major, having access to vehicles and all. Both Namkla and Major were flaunting the affair in front of the wife. At some point, Amanda and Major got divorced. Major then married again while dating Namkla. So again, Namkla was the side chick in the second marriage. In one of Namkla and Major's WhatsApp messages, Major even tells Namkla that even if he were to divorce his current wife, which is the second wife, he would never marry Namkla. So during the whole 17-year affair, Namkla was getting the best treatment, which both first and second wives did not get. Major was buying cars for her and also built her parents an 11 roomed home. Another thing that the woman in the VN is, is that Major had been abusive toward his ex-wife and current wife, and Namsa was aware of this and watched on. That is, until he started being abusive towards Namsa. So this video is not to put the blame all on Namsa in these affairs, as Major was the main <coughs> culprit and the driver. However, Namsa also played her role. What Major did to her is very evil. He abused very her and she'd be the main suspect extremely. in this incident. However, Namkla also made some enemies herself. So my Ugh. question to you guys is, could it be possible that someone else did it besides Major with all these women in this man's life? Let me know down in the comment section. Alright, that's it for today. I mean, firstly, what I have to say is, the first wife... Ooh, let me just calm my soul. I wanted to say something. I wanted to say something very derogatory, but I had to bite my tongue. The first wife, firstly, it's like I don't understand why people, when the partner cheats, like if your partner cheats on you, why are you fighting the woman? Like you think the woman cares? I mean, this man is coming to her with all this lavish lifestyle and all this love and all this ooh ooh ah ah, and then you're gonna get mad at her. For what? Like, is she your mother? Is she your friend? Is she your cousin? No. Like, and for the fa like, you're supposed to be mad at this guy. Unless she was scared to be mad at him because she knew that he had abusive tendencies. And she knew that if she did say something about his affair with Namsa, he would probably beat her. And it's like, maybe she was trying, she was playing it safe. And maybe she was bitter and jealous. I will never ever in my life be in a polygamous relationship that is just not my scene anybody that is in one do you do what makes you happy and that's it and the second wife like if this guy is spoiling namsa 
and he's doing all like this guy Kari, he, 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 he um lives off of um sexual desires like yo he had a first wife they divorced because he was cheating on the first wife with namsa and then he got a second wife and he would never marry namsa why so very very this guy was using namsa he probably looked at namsa as someone that was easy like oh, if i just buy her a car she'll smile if i buy her food she'll smile if i do this for her parents she'll smile and a lot of men buy you material things so that they have this ownership and um um and what's this entitlement over you so it's that thing of let's say namsa decided to leave he would have been like why are you leaving i built your parents in a living room house i bought you a car you know things like that and it's like a lot of men place material value things on women and think that they can control them based off of the things that they got them so then in namsa if she's seeing this man beat these women obviously she could have said Yo, this guy wa beta. And maybe she could have seen that as a red flag that he beat the first wife, he beat the second wife. This is not for me, because what if he beats me? But men have these these smooth ways of talking to women. I'll never do that to you. Like when you're special, like I've never even bought any of them cars. And in and, and, and you believe that. Like even sometimes when you can see a situation is just not safe and it's not it like your brain will not click until you in it like like one thing i can say to all the women watching this just like depend on yourself like take care of yourself depend on yourself be independent do not go into relationship like don't go into relationship liking a man's things like that's how men start to abuse you and control you like you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're controlled by a man because he bought you toilet paper toilet paper want to clap me for toilet paper want to clap me for toothpaste i like like don't ignore the red signs and she probably saw that damn i'm living comfortably this man is genuinely taking care of me so she's like you know, and it's like her mind was probably not switching on until it started happening to her. And she's, she's got the shorter end of the stick. And I would understand why the first wife says she's paying for her sims or karma. Because she saw this man abusing them. And on top of that, she was the side chick. And maybe in her mind, she's thinking, I'm going to be the second wife. But the wife knew that this was an affair. And if she, and some women settle to be side chicks because of what a, being a side chick comes with. Like, I swear to God, if I can get a car or 10,000 rand, is it like this being a side chick? Ow. And that's just some moment for you guys. But anyways, guys, make sure you guys visit Big Dance. Comment in the comment section. Don't forget to turn on post notifications and hit the subscribe button down below. And I am on the road to 400 subscribers. And I'm sending you guys love and positivity. It's your girl. And I'm out.